Hello, everybody. I'm so sorry. Yeah, my name is Dr. Park. I'm here uh, to introduce Malaysia Mass Trust for fifteen thirty pounds. I'm working at SK Hynix with working many types of members DRAM and APM, APM access memory. Today I'm going to use these two types of memory, DRAM as a fast memory, sensor extender as a slow memory. Um, in a system with these two types of memory, I ran a workload that is RRM inference. And the system uh, have a swap fault, a swap fault and Luma balancing curing on and motion enabled. The workload required over 200 gigabytes, while the system has total a little bit more than 100 gigabytes because the system has less memory than how much memory the work required. So it's gonna suffer from heavy page flame and heavy page migration like it's motion that the CPU system has motion enabled. This number is a very big round number that I obtained from a profile system. The numbers are uh, look pretty heavy to me, so I'd like to read this number using value out mechanism that I'm gonna discuss today. As you know, mapping has when mapping has tables, so we have to invalidate their tables so that other CPUs can learn with the updated one, right? The way to invalidate this TLB is TLB system, but TLB system should pay the cost of corrupt and need. Here, I'd like to replace a part of pay the cost. Oh, okay. let me do the demonstration because all of you already understand how TLB system works. I had a talk with ChatGPT. He told me when all mapping is required uh, to ensure that all ATLB entries are invalidated. But the numbers are too high to me, so I want to read the number. Value of all. I'd like to replace the pair of pay the cost with keys, interrupt and get TLB keys instead of the cost of the TLB keys. Value of interest. There might be many types of map cases. Okay, explicitly on map through simple. Is we can map and clean soldiers for transition and page reframe and migration might map for general purpose and so on. LUF is interested in this cases. For example, uh, let's look at page migration a little bit more detail. Uh, Migration. This is my uh, migration here. I'd like to keep the system up. Can be found? It is found after a map mapping. How? When a page moves to the other location, here be found is required to invalidate. Uh, scale mappings. When a page moves, system one might um, keep seeing the page with the scale mapping. If people to modify a page, 
uh, with the uh, updating iPhone. And this company are not the same anymore, even though the believe they are looking at the same thing. It's a uh, phrase. Video only mapping. In this case, when a mapping boost, it will not be found, that's going to be safe. So, for video only mapping, I can leave it even after a mapping, so you can learn with scale, scale entries. There will be shutdown when it's inevitable. This is how LUR app works, mostly. but it works only with arrow mapping. Fortunately, when I check arrow RW ratio with several workloads, the proportions are quite high. You know, to dive into LUM. So I decided to work with it. Actually, I tried to see if there be some sound by keeping read content for bring pages to PPC or body. But I changed the approach to keep read copy inviting a locator like a PPC or body. Let me show you why. This is how vanilla kernel works when migration happens. The kernel uh, during migration a map copy and from the source case. It's gonna uh, perform a bit of down feature freeing pages. If Read the content before bring pages to a locator and then for TLBC count until it finally frees the pages to a locator. For example, if two um, pages are below, then uh, we have to free uh, uh, pages right away. But, uh, so I did refer to only for video only mapping pages. Or, if things required to be done by other management, so we can keep all the be put down, fortunately. Here, DMRC is the previous name of uh, LUF, that stands for Migration Read Company. But this mechanism can be applied not only to migration, but a map during page reclaim. So I rename it to radial map flow, LUM. So it's just a free memory set, but I didn't want to change that. So I changed the upper so that to take this travel as is, like uh, the current the vanilla kernel does, so as not to change the map. So I change the diagram from this to this. So in the second approach, I have two copies inviting a locator, and that a table between PPC and audio locator within the locator. The only difference uh, from the running corner is there might be a corner to be found on access from the allocator. Actually, see when access allocator, still be put down might happen. Or if there is a required to be found by other clients, and at the full page to sound. Okay, here. Yeah, okay, the page. Okay. 
It just means that shutdown cost shifted to whoever allocates the page after you create this uh, this way. So you defer the it will be shut down to the time and, until page leaves by the allocator again, right? Okay, okay. So uh, you are saying that um, you don't shut down, uh, till, uh, don't do still be shut down on free in the page. So a uh, body allocator has the page that potentially uh, is somewhere, somewhere in till B. And the next time this page got allocated, you uh, flush till B at that time. Yeah, but if any uh, pen be flushed, but it means that uh, CPU time that required to flush till B will be accounted to the process that doesn't Responsible for this, this is full time. Uh, in defense, even in one electoral, because from from the locator. Yes, but you shift so on free the process who responsible for using this memory, like. The process who allocated this page and use this page across multiple threads has to pay cost for freeing it. But now you shift part of the cost of freeing the page to the next user who is not, a, not responsible for maintaining this page. So it's kind of misaccounted from CPU user's point of view. Yes. Uh, this is the, the migration, even, even the, the one source is not uh, the thing it's paying uh, at the at the thing or whatever the uh, for particular like migration, it's already kind of uh, unwillingly paying, right? And also on the free part, uh, here and like catching there, there is a higher chance that system wide or some uh, some kind of uh, you won't need to on that. Because the allocator, so the allocator obviously knows which of the three pages still require a flush, is it then able to prefer allocating pages that don't require a flush? and one doesn't, we can allocate the page that doesn't require the flush. Oh, and so then we shouldn't, of course, then we shouldn't flush because it's been, we can allocate the page that requires the flush. We should allocate the page that doesn't require the flush. And then hopefully a flush happens there. Okay. The, um, one page, the, um, with the, uh, okay. benefit from relocating the page three recently because it's in the page cache or in CPU cache. So it's like conflicting the requirements in this case. Uh, okay, so do you have to disable TSX on Intel CPUs when you do this? Because I'm wondering if you if you have a read if you have a page that is currently read only in the page tables, but the page contains a lock, 
and then you try to start a TSX transaction where you read the log in order to make sure that you bail out of the TSX transaction. If anyone else tries to uh, take the log for writing, uh, would this basically cause TSX to not log properly because TSX relies on the two CPUs actually seeing the same physical memory? Uh, or do you basically only apply this optimization to things where the VMA is marked as uh, read only, not just the page table entry is marked as read only. Uh, so on Intel, you have this TS. Uh, on Intel, you have this TSX transaction synchronization exchanges mechanism, and part of the idea of TSX is that you can take you can take a log by only reading it, uh, and so the CPU the CPU like uh, cache keeps track of uh, who has access that log, or do you, or I guess it would work if you do, I guess you probably anyway have to do flushes when you upgrade a PC from read, it, read only to write it all right, so I guess uh, it doesn't matter. Never mind. And the page access from and body to okay. allocate the cache or information. Mechanism. I need a page involved in a mapping to unknown and file page to narrow down application object to two objects like page and MMs and addresses. For each object, I need to track CPU to service accounts and track range to service accounts. So for three items, as are quite attractive, I'm still thinking how to implement it. And less important than the last three items, so uh, I'm going to uh, talk about the last um, three items. The most Duration service account per page, page allocation step on the memory process, page allocation, and MM is enough free memory. If it is low watermark, it will wake up the software to work for page list frame. If it is mean watermark, I do a direct claim. Then there will be shut down during page explain after a mapping. The green color the drop means there will be shut down, and the size of each drop means the number of sources that there will be flushed. So, I'm going to do this the way to value F. And so, uh, the MM return pages from subject to screen. And I'll use the project additional service account if needed on return. I told you, if you required on by other signatures, then we can escape all service account. So in this case, step two is this. So from page three to any other thread during take, um, Directly mapping is performed service down every time they on map. The so, uh, size of the uh, drops can be reduced with LUF, and there might be additional service down if needed, or even more aggressively. Because I is about manipulating mappings, so to deal with mapping page and updating page that has um, updated a file or involved uh, in mapping that we have to deal with that. So when updating mappings through different tools like MO device and M project map or something, 
a green for the function that was uh, introduced by Mayor Kulman to handle waste between already existing vaccine deposits and functions. Since is working on the part of the vaccine deposit, Of mapping, but also in the idea of mapping, I should cover it as well. When I'm um, creating a writable through a page post, like capitalize, uh, by adding a green color function, I uh, uh, perform the pattern for the uh, shoot down as needed. Of course, I'm VMA uh, has a VM light, which means it's going uh, to create a writable method for the I added a function. Let me talk to you. I did the target page to unknown and file table. So, of course, I have to deal with um, updating pages associated with. I'm confused about uh, about this statement. Uh, sorry, I'm confused about this statement. Like, what other pages, other except file and anonymous? What do you, do you mean that you limit to those two? So you said that you limit uh, exposure to file and anonymous pages. What other pages? Other ah, okay, PDF animal, okay. Can you go to the slides with three things that are three slides, nothing? That is not so, uh, that's not a function for creating nothing, that's a old handler, so to flush in each handler, but hold. This is a function called handle mm fold. So it's a page fold and link and you have to flush for each new folded page. I get it. I didn't know. This is a very strange one. Otherwise, it's very strange. So my understanding is that LUV flush mm will do it conditionally. So if, it, if there is anything pending to flush, then it will flush. Otherwise, it will going to be no operation. Exactly. So, uh, I just also have to deal with updating pages that is associated with function. So, when updating a page, as you know, this is a template that you should use when you update page page. So, by adding uh, uh, green color function to perform uh, pending services. So, I think this is covered by this. And when, another case. So, on file mappings, right begin, is it? So, right begin also used in uh, this call pass, but we only care about making page writable through page fault. So we shouldn't be, it shouldn't be needed in the right beginning, no? It should only be, so you, you need to flush only in page fault part, not right begin part. Because the right begin also used for like when you call Cisco right or something. What I would do instead is to hook into page MK right and flush if the page is marked. I think I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I
other cases that without any control or there might be something that the owner transfer it to you but enough I can remove it. The most important thing is to make it explore works um safely so yeah, I think it's many things that can never to be added. And when I think updating clients, unfortunately, we have to protect the patient when we directly try to avoid the relation between a patient and real file. There is already um, the temporal definition that is uh, for mapping, mapping, and if needed while they drink it. But the yellow function exposed that might be very different in some function. So, technically, I added uh, a function to uh, the function be checked out. If there are any pending this there might be things I need. Table hunt pen gave me a feedback to implement the other filter for checking the sample whether the TLV portion has been done or not. So I tried to design and implement. So here I use additional space in the specification now. Property is just a uh, very with the spaces, so um, besides uh, development, I cannot uh, use uh, many industries in the space. But it's a uh, space, so I use additional space in a space and synchronize the object. I hope it's allowed. Now, I think it's still working. Okay. <laughs> I'm just wondering, like usually when we do deeper stuff, when we need extra space in the page, we use it to page X. Did, did you look into that? Page X? The page extension. Yeah. Like we used it for, for example, for owner track and stuff like that. Did you look into that? Because that's less controversial than crawling struck page. Even yeah, I could use that. Yeah. Okay. And the other thing is, you mentioned per page tracking. It, it is frowned upon to do per page tracking. Do you actually mean portfolio tracking nowadays, or do you really need per page? It should be, right, it should be, I'm asking if that's the case. <laughs> so you, you, look, you should look into not using struct page, but using struct folio. Yeah. Um, in, in, in all of your slides, you use the term struct page. You likely should be referring to struct folio. Which is like a collection of pages, like a transparent huge page with the folio, where we have like a single metadata. In the long term, what Willie is working on is that you won't really have any space in struct page. Anymore. It's going to be struct folio per allocation. Yeah, but for the, I'm, I'm not saying for the debug feature. For the debug feature, you can do what you want. I was just like in all of the slides before that you used the term struct page, and I was curious if you actually meant struct folio. Uh, no, just the ordinary folio yeah. without okay. the slide. One I when I implement it, I. I track the page uh, when they are in the locator, PPT and body. I, I noticed that there are 
some things why they are staying in and bodies. There are a few named order. Order, are they order in four bytes or eight bytes of space? They do have to do save space to store over order, so I split it up to a fill. Uh, I remember, okay. So you, when you talk about struct page, you mean in the body where it's not a folio, but like if it's in, in, in mapped into your user space. And we like we migrate folios nowadays. We don't migrate pages. We migrate folios, and once you hand it back to the body, it becomes an order, I don't know, five page. Uh, I only can expect pages in the locator. When yeah. it's used in outside of the body, like the by user or something, I cannot expect In this case, I have to handle that very conservatively. Uh, that's how I did. Okay, thanks. How do you handle uh, body merges and splitting inside page allocator? So how do you handle, so when page returns back to the body allocator, it can be later splitted or merged with other pages. How do you handle metadata on those? So I use that space as a key. And I keep the um, data that I need in a table. And I keep my where there might be conflict. Conflict that might pose additional PRP account. Total liter liters of liters is good. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm gonna go back to the your file page. Uh, uh, so so let, let's assume uh, a file page it will be mapped in the space. Communication happens. And then you can write the call on the page you have to do at that point, right? So previously gave him no need for the slide when you to hit Oh I need the so file page if it's only mapped into the address space, it's not happen. And now you have two parts of the page, no TLB. Yeah, that uh, no, uh, uh, traveling between uh, uh, PCP and the body. And then uh, some the application did the right set call on the page. Right session call? Yes. Uh, because it has a greater only permission at the moment, it's going to send it to a page port if it's allowed, like a uh, Right, for uh, for the file uh, page. Uh, so you need. Some. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, like uh, the the computers are going to. Yeah, they all of the the my the page is reallocated that. Page and then another that's out the stage. They have the same order, they merge. So, what happens? Now you have merge. Now you have a larger LUF page or to prevent the merge? Or? Yeah, I have to send over and whether it should perform a so when or if one of a uh, have a uh, requirement to service it and higher order page to take that information, uh, yeah, make uh, uh, 
more additional television time, but the more important thing is to not miss um, so, so I think I like more the idea of being separate from the allocated that is settled the first attempt. Maybe let me let, let you finish the presentation. <laughs> okay. Let me let me run fast. Okay, I will show you the performance improvement uh, improvement of Richard using this three metrics. There is a number that is the same numbers that I showed you at the beginning in the fusion system. Numbers are reduced to with the LUF by 95%. That's why I started to decided to start this work. And second is this number. I obtained these numbers um, using port test. Specifying event, detailed the load mix, service time, high quality load mix. The three numbers are reduced with the LUF by respectively 60%, percent 70%, 80%. Runtime of the workload, data that I mean. Numbers are reduced to a value of by 40 percent. But I told you, I think when you do a town and how many systems are deployed from this system. The reason I just told you was obtained from this version of value up. But this version is global, of course, I didn't want to use global up for sure. So I synchronized um, interesting objects like MS or address station used for IPI handling. So as to portrait lock using hash table and made it more aggressively. I already okay, I already show you I made it to work like this. But this question of value of increase the number of tries to CPU uh, shut down. Unfortunately, I observed the synchronization overhead in IPI architecture code. So I've been seeing one eye. Uh, the most important metric is the end user experience. So yeah, I'm not, now I'm, look, I'm talking with. Uh, the runtime. So, uh, what, uh, what I do the reduction of the TBD sound and TBD always reduce significantly. But the runtime is a little bit different. So I will see better runtime and I will see even worse runtime depending on how to synchronize the interesting object. Like, uh, and uh, MM Start and Six for IPI handling. Mm, so now I'm like system and LUR and a work in this manner. So as to read it, uh, try to secure it. And I expect I'm looking forward to much better research. I'm getting back home. Yeah, I'm gonna share with you if I change the code and start again. One thing that I worried about is that Migration can be done for performance reason, but if you move from slower memory to faster memory, but since you don't off, always uh, shut down till B, the process would still access slower memory through stale till B entry, and it can be indefinitely long. So there might be Uh, currently, uh, there are two types of migration uh, with regard to shared memory. We are talking about shared memory, right? Yeah, or 
just migration between like uh, 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 yeah something or uh, closer to you promotion migration uh, I, uh, the implementation existing in Linux kernel that is done by Huang Yi maybe uh, Uh, they are uh, already on map, they are uh, hitting both. Why are they working hitting both? They already think they, they already perform the same thing. Uh, I, I didn't know that. So, um, I have to work on emotion rather than promotion. So, yeah, it's more uh, working with uh, solution. So, you're done with your slides, right? I can ask questions. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. So, I'm going back to the what last thing you was pointing out. I'm just wondering, like, the, the alternative which you uh, are not putting it seems that is much more simpler. Let's say, like, uh, if we have a global, like I said, I have a global X setting. I set aside all the segments for that time and also actually for, the, for avoiding the ohms. It seems it's much more easier to think about. And I'm sorry about it. We are talking in person after the presentation. Thank you very much. I really uh, want to talk to you. Yeah, it be very more comfortable if you talk in person. So if you have any question, I really want to talk to you. Um, There are not any really important question, then I'm going to finish now.